Hey guys, it's Sarah. I'm here with a, another mini album to share with you guys. It is my very first junk journal. So I guess it's not a mini, but it's on the same vibe. Uh, I had recently got a custom order so I've been busy me doing that and I had lots of scraps left over from doing that so I was like well I'm gonna try it I've been watching a lot of YouTube and researching a lot of things lately di getting different ideas inspiration and I come across three of Three different ladies on here on YouTube. Uh, I believe they are very good with what they do. They are very, very talented. All three of them. I get a lot of inspiration from all three of them. Uh, I really enjoy watching all their movie, all movie, all their videos. So. Kudos to all you guys, all three of you, um, ladies. You have really inspired me to uh, just give it my go and keep on trucking through this crafting. And I just, I love crafting. And you guys just inspire me and give me inspiration. I just thank you so much for that. So, I have a note. <laughs> uh, the Paper Addiction, she is just absolutely funny. And I love, love your accent. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, just fabulous. She is so good at what she does, making all your journals that you make and you just put your heart into it girl and kudos to you uh, practice makes pretty you are so funny hilarious and your little chuckle laugh uh, is so cute oh my goodness it makes me laugh every time I hear you do it your journals are just fabulous they are they are so pretty they really are and practice makes pretty well you do practice a lot girl and then deli girl love of love your stuff you are so inspiring you give out so many tips so many tricks you explain it so well I just love watching your channel thank you thank you and your journals are very, very good too. They are, they're priceless. All you ladies stuff and what you come up with is just plain out priceless. Also, shout out to your lovely dear friend, Angie Bunner. I've watched all of your guys' happy meal that you get from her and she is absolutely stunningly gorgeous crafter oh my goodness you guys are very blessed and very very blessed to have a friend like that uh what she does is absolutely amazing if you're listening to this or ever uh, stumble across this uh you are truly an angel crafting angel in disguise so, uh, the, I know the two, uh, lovely women, uh, Paper Addiction and Practice Makes Pretty, uh, they are very lucky to have a friend like you. So, uh, with that all being said, not to ramble and keep going on and on, but I just wanted to share that you guys are inspiring and uh, kudos to you uh, hugs and thank you so much for everything you guys do so 
this is the little mini journal that I, junk journal that I come up with um, I think paper addiction uh, she said it best when uh, Angie sent her her one junk journal it is not a junk journal for sure it is just absolutely yummy delicious so uh, this is I use the paper line or the paper collection it's actually just the journaling cards. The Tales You You and Me by Prima. Love this paper line. It is so pretty. The colors are just oh, beautiful. Um, sorry, I used um. So, what do you think? You think they're pretty? I do. So, this is the journal I made. I use some of the chipboard pieces or um, chipwood pieces. I'm not sure what they call them. Uh, I also used the um, Emphra. Emphria? Emphria? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I can't pronounce things very good. But I used this pack in here too. And uh, the wood pieces, I used some of those. And I had this chipboard piece. Uh, it is from Blue Fern Studios. And uh, so, yeah, let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I've leased on the side here, and it's weave through with some of this velvet. Uh, ribbon that I had. Uh, there is a tag here. It's a Tim Holtz tag. Uh, there's multiple layers uh, or sizes of them. That's the tiny one or the small one, smallest of them. This is chiffon, light pink chiffon fabric with some seam binding and lace trim on top going across and then the, the butterfly and the post uh, not post postcard little wood piece and then the spine is the chiffon and some of the muslin and lace trim. I just tied it in a knot and glued it on there with hot glue. And there's some of this eyelash trim on that Tim Holtz tiny paper clip. And I torn a piece of the paper and I put a uh, book, notebook, uh, or excuse me, book page paper that's torn behind it with some muslin. Or not muslin, uh, cheesecloth. Then the back is a piece of the paper from the collection. I just roughed it up with the Prima tool, distress tool. There's another thing of those tags. These are the bigger ones out of that uh, bunch that I was telling you about. Held together with ball chain. And there's a piece of uh, paper that is the notebook paper and some burlap behind that just made a little tiny pocket behind there to hold those tags there's another one of these tags smaller one i used the heart punch on that i used one of those little paper clips and i add a little bit of a lace uh, tie to that and there is muslin and lace and more lace on top of that. And yeah. So let's open it up and take a look at it. First page, when you open it up on the cover inside, is I had a leftover envelope that I made using a different paper line. Um, it's Prima Nature's Garden or Nat Nature 
nature nature oh god nature garden and it's the six by six pad that's throughout this album in certain places uh this is tales of you and me i just cut the six four by six and a half and made um three by four journaling cards i didn't get the three by four journal card pack i thought i ordered it and i didn't and then here's another and then I just used one of those, um, sorry, I'm trying to watch um, used one of those and just glued it onto that envelope. I stamped enjoy. I did do some stamping throughout. I am not the greatest at stamping. Oh my goodness. Do I need to work on that? But I added some and I think it turned out okay. Um. Uh, and then I added another little tag right here with the birdie on there. And then you flip the next page. That's just beautiful paper. This paper line is actually... I have a piece of the paper. Or one of the paper. It's 4 by 12 It's Deja Vu. I don't know if you can see that. And it's by Blue Fern Studio. I love their paper. Their paper is cardstock paper and it is the thickest, I think, of the thick paper, deco, or designer paper that's out there because uh, I think Graphic 45 is close to it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm saying um again. Uh, Kaiser Craft is not bad. It, it's pretty thick, close to it. It's not as thick. And Prima. Prima paper is close to it, too. My opinion. Uh, so, that's part of that paper collection. And what this page is, is this is the tea dye paper, and I just attached this tag that I had. I made extra for an album I was working on and I had it so I just folded it over this way made a little tuck pocket and then the rest of it I glued onto here and this is a little tuck pocket too I didn't put anything underneath there and it just made this page a little bit bigger here's another book page I added this lace to the side of it and it had um uh, this is the other part of it, and then I left the holes on this side, and I weaved through some seam binding. I think it turned out really cute. Some trim here, and seam binding, and one of those wood pieces, bingo. Here's some of my stamping that didn't turn out great. It's supposed to say XOXO with a heart. Hmm. It's okay. I don't know if you can see it. It's not the greatest. And then I layered some fibers here with a brad. Inside this glassine bag is a index cards that are coffee or tea dyed and it's held with, with a, a brad journaling spot. Here is one of these fabric flowers that I layered a whole bunch of different fibers together with a little bit of that eyelash trim in the middle with a little bling button and there is notebook page on the back that's torn and inked up and here's another picture closer with flower I got that technique and learned that off of I watched paper addiction and practice makes pretty their friend angie i think it's bunner she showed or expl she didn't show she explained uh in a letter that she wrote to practice makes pretty uh she wrote to her and explained wanted her to say how she did her flowers and this is my take on it her flowers are really really pretty but this is my take on it and I think it turned out really pretty so thank you Angie 
and thank you Cactus Mates Pretty for uh, reading off her letter so we can learn how to do that. Here's another little tag. This is the medium size one. It says create. And this is a envelope that I just made and to one of these coin envelopes and I punched the top out with my Martha Stewart uh, lace border punch. And it says sweet on it. And of course, it didn't come out very good on the one, but I just stamped it again. Then this is part of the nature garden collection paper line, and I, this is Martha Stewart lace trim here. And you flip it over, and I got another envelope here, and a tag that I stamped love, and then I stamped me and you. What a team. And some paper back there. Stamp love over here with some washi tape. Music washi tape. Or music note. And then I stamped smile up here and have a lace trim. And layered another lace trim right there. This says enjoy stamped right there on this dolly. Or dolly. Dolly. Oh goodness. Here is a number 10 envelope. Uh, I cut the end off, the other end is on the other side in the back here. Uh, and then I embossed it, through, running it through my embossing folder. It says love, and then I just inked it up to show it a little bit more with vintage photo. Here's another tag. I just layered some more fibers on top decorated up, some seam binding, and a little bit of lace trim. So that goes in that. And that's another Tim Holtz uh, tag. And this is Love stamp and another heart stamp. This is Graphic 45 washi tape on this book page. Stamp family and ripped up some book page and laid down some muslin and then I layered this lace trim on top of that. Then you flip it over and I have some fibers down here with one of those butterfly wooden pieces and I made a pocket using the pretty paper and made some tags out of that pretty paper too as well and just stapled some seam binding on the top and I just pulled some through this tag and inked this tag up here's another tag it says remember I uh, stamped that on there and then it's held on with one of those paper, little paper clips by Tim Holtz. And then this is a dolly that opens up. And then another one of those tags I had left over. And just made it a flip. And then just blank page. Kept it simple. Then over here is the other side of the dolly. And some trim and muslin. Made that a pocket, and just made a little booklet, added a couple of those tags. There's a book page with some of that washi tape with the note, music note. And added some more fibers, and I had punch out from when I punched the heart, and just added that in the center. And this is Tim Holtz. Paper clip to close pen. Oh, close pen. Oh, goodness. Ugh, close hanger. <laughs> and then I just made a little booklet out of this and just uh, punched the edges of the paper. And 
this is just a regular paper clip. And that just tucks inside here. Just added one of these little tags over there, and this is the other side of that envelope I was telling you about that I embossed, and then just added some of the ink to pop up and make the image come out a little bit better. This is Stantello, other side of the lily, and this is coffee or tea dyed paper. And it's just regular copy paper. Seam binding, a little bit of lace trim. I had one of these deco uh, edge pieces that I just adhered to the paper. Made a little tuck spot out of it with a couple tags and a little paper clip. Some of that washi tape and seam binding. A stamp thing full and add a little bit of uh, one of those cardstock Emfra pieces. This is just a little bit of the paper. I torn up and added some uh, book pages behind it and some cheesecloth and I held it on with some of the washi tape and it's actually attached to this piece of cardstock that I tea dyed and I ran it through my embossing folder that looked like the um I'm sorry um I'm trying I'm trying looks like bur burlap then I stamped it over here. It says me and you. What a team. Added some more fibers. Layered it up. On this side, a stamped smile. Added some washi tape. And then on this side, I stamped some believe on this bag. And it leave it over here. But it's rustic and homemade, so I'm going to leave it. And add some fi fibers right here and lace trim onto that bag and uh, I had one more of those tags left over so I just added a bunch of different things inside here and sewed it and, or I stitched it in and made a little booklet out of it that just tucks inside this other side of the glassine bag Add some seam binding and just tie dots to the to that, and then I added some more of that washi tape. This is the other side of that book page. I stamp, stamp, hope, and then I stamped hope on the tag. Add some fibers and trim, and I ran this through, or I punched the edge of this with the Martha Stewart lace punch. This is Tim Holtz hanging sign die. Just added some trim to that and added a couple tags. They are coffee. These are all coffee stained or tea stained. One of the two and so is this paper. I just folded it over make tuck spot added some lace stamped together on there, add some washi tape, and then this back pocket, I just uh, made it into a pocket, this music note paper, and I just scored it a half an inch on both sides, tucked it under, taped it so this pocket expands, and I add, made a I added one of these little tags that I put some fibers on the bottom. 
made this. It's a standard envelope, but I just made it into look like one of those coin envelopes instead. And I didn't add anything into it, but I added a paper clip with a little bit of lace trim on the top. That just tucks up in there. And made these tags out of papers I had left over. Just stapled some of the papers and fibers, add some trim to the side. Then I added a wooden deco piece here with some lace trims on underneath that, some washi tape, tied some lace onto that, and have the lace at the bottom. And that all just gets tucked in this pocket. And there you have it. There's my first little junk journal stuff full of pretty pretty stuff. I thought it was really really beautiful. It turned out really pretty. I will be doing a lot more of this style. I really like it. The vintage uh, look of it. And so please like, share, thumbs up, uh, comment please. I'd love to know what you're thinking. Uh, get your input on it. And I guess uh, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, uh, later.